A very good evening. So we would be starting with our topic today, and the idea is with the unlock going on. What should be kept in mind for the students, be it the school students or the college students? What are the things that you can cover up during this time? Also, we are uh, seeing a lot of news about uh, uncertainty in the coming months. So, what should be the important aspects that you should cover? Uh, so, coming on to the very first thing is. get ready with your books if you are not able to find certain books online go to a book store and try to get the best references the best books so that is the first thing that you should start once you are uh, in the unlock phase so get the best references best books also look for help now this help can be from those who have already qualified your seniors uh your colleagues so whatever kind of um, help you require try to interact with people and uh, get the best help from either those i repeat those who have qualified or your seniors or probably your faculty those who are doing your research want to visit libraries so the next important thing that you must keep in mind is libraries now with uh, most of the reopening taking place libraries are now open at most of the location so you must visit the library get the best references that you are looking for and uh, try to start a format of how to prepare also uh, those who have questions mithilesh uh, tanya can just ping in in the uh, comment section okay uh, so the next important thing that you need to focus is practicals for those specifically in 11 12th graduation working with practical subjects need to take into account practicals at this point so try to get yourself acquainted with the lab laboratories the skills that you require and uh, if there is a software that you want to learn or any specific uh, uh, system that you want to get help with get this during this period for the next one or two months uh, aditi has a question i am unable to understand civics whenever i study it in uh, online class i feel boring what should i do now aditi uh, there are few things first of all is what we say is changing your mindset don't think that you are afraid of the subject you find the subject boring unless and until you take that out of your mind and uh, you study the subject unbiasedly you won't be able to succeed the next important thing that you need to understand here is uh, we also a uh, focus on civics from a very basic perspective a kind of theoretical perspective but if you try to understand civics more from a practical perspective how governance function how governments function then probably you would develop more interest into why you are reading civics and why it is so important uh, as we already said for those who are doing their research work covering the research subjects mainly with the field work field analysis this is one of the best times you can utilize so cover your field work during this period also some of those who require hands on experiment uh, kind of simulation studies can actually get benefit of this time and uh, focus more on these activities the next important thing that we need to focus is uh if you are visiting your uh, campuses take all your doubts make sure that all of your doubts are resolved so be it related to a theoretical subject be it related to a practical subject make sure that you are able to carry all your doubts and get your doubts resolved so this is one of the best times to do all this that we have mentioned so prepare a list right away do not waste another one or two days in it and make sure you are up with it uh, there is another question with uh, uh, aritara ganguli asking about uh, that maths is weak what should we do now as nilesh has mentioned uh, we need to focus mainly on 
प्रैक्टिस द मोर यू प्रैक्टिस द बेटर इट इज सो वन ऑफ द गुड वेज इज अ काइंड ऑफ स्वॉट एनालिसिस वॉट वी से विच इज अंडरस्टैंडिंग योर स्ट्रेंथ वीकनेस अपॉर्चुनिटी एंड थ्रेट सो विद इन मैथ्स अंडरस्टैंड वॉट आर योर स्ट्रॉन्ग टॉपिक्स सो लेट्स ए यू आर गुड एट जियोमेट्री and it would so happen that you would continue to practice geometry only uh then uh, you also need to understand the weak areas so students usually keep away from the weak areas they keep it aside for the last moment and that is something that you do not or you should not do so within a subject when you say this subject is my weak subject it's not the complete subject you have certain elements that you like in that subject and that you really perform well in it so identify those topics and see if you are devoting a lot of time only on those topics in which you are performing good then the topics in which you are not performing good identify those and start those at a priority so that is one of the uh, things that you should try aritra uh, then the next question is which will be the best universities for research in urban studies now uh, aritra there are numerous uh, uh, instances for the same the idea is whether you want to pursue your research within the country or outside the country and based on that you would have a series of uh, universities that we can uh, deal with within india sept is one of the good centers and then you have numerous uh, urban planning and town planning centers that you should uh, go for uh, saurabh has another question uh, i am a student of class 11th arts but i can't find interest in the studies or uh, you can and say my habit of studying went off i think because i did not got class 10th result i am unable to motivate myself so definitely saurabh it's not just you there are many other students whom we uh, have interacted with and they personally feel that unless and until there are exams there are results or there is a consistency in behavior uh, we drop our efforts so the best thing is create targets for yourself with this uncertainty looming around specifically with your board exams and the kind of school curriculum uh, a lot of students lose pace the best idea is create targets for yourself and once you create targets for yourself try to meet those targets so you can create a target of let's say there are 12 chapters in one of the books you can say that okay one month i'll cover one chapter for each subject and that's how you create target then within 10 to 15 days let's say you would cover all the theoretical section next 4 to 5 days you would cover the uh, mcqs or one line two line and then uh, next 3 4 days you would practice writing long answers for the same chapter so that is another way of keeping yourself attuned with the subject also you need to focus that uh what is your ultimate goal like after 11th and 12th what do you need to pursue what do you intend to pursue are you looking for any competitive exams or are you planning to get admission into a good university prepare for the entrance exam so that should be in the back of your mind and accordingly you should create targets and study for that uh, the next is uh, aditi's question about notes for civics class 7 definitely aditi we have covered all the lectures for social studies for class 7 those are the lecture handouts are available at exam race study material so you go on to exam race study material political science ncert lecture handouts and you would find all the lecture handouts besides that ncert solutions exemplar problem solutions are also available at flexiprep.com so uh, those are some of the important things that you should cover uh, exemplar problems are very very important specifically for students hailing from 6 to 8 uh, the problems are really good not only for uh, uh, one subject but nearly all science and maths so cover those carefully the next thing as we mentioned with the reopening the most important thing that you should keep in mind is focus on the phd student should focus on the field work so the more uh, field work that you can cover during this time better it is because uh, once there is a uh, 
the locking period we do not know how the situations would come so uh, very important those who are in their phd those who are in their research those who are writing their dissertations for their mphil and they want to cover certain field work uh, this is the best time or you can change the format of the questionnaires to either a telephonic questionnaire or a online questionnaire whatsoever but this is one of the best times where you can get hold of resources you can get hold of departments people a lot of students who are relying on secondary data uh, those students also need to visit let's say census or other departments the local uh, government offices to collect their data for uh, their research work for their project work again i would say this is one of the best times to do this so uh, make sure that you cover those topics and cover these aspects very very carefully i again repeat the gist of what we have talked today uh, get your books references either from your book stores if you want to visit the book stores this is one of the best times get help from library if you want uh, to check out some of the good books good references even for your research for school students library since they are opening now this is one of the good times to utilize the resources students having practical subjects should focus now on understanding how things work practically getting acquainted with hands on ex experiments also doubt resolution you can visit your faculty your resource person whosoever it is uh, to get help for doubts now this is one of the major things where students find difficulty with a lot of students uh, usually want assistance with one on one doubt resolution so probably this is the best time to get uh, all your doubts resolved even if you are looking from help from your seniors your faculty uh, those who have already qualified the exam that you are appearing for this is one of the good times to get acquainted with those uh, the, then shivam has a question can you please tell us uh the way the way by which we can improve our english pronunciation and also the accent uh, now shivam one of the good ways we would say is listen to english news uh then another good way is read english newspapers but since you are focusing on oral aspect the pronunciation uh, portion it's good to refer sources which are exclusively in english so even if you are watching videos on youtube watch exclusive english videos so that would help in building your vocabulary and ultimately also uh, the accent is something which is normally with us so you need not to modify that need not to focus on that a lot but uh, yes pronunciation you would get hold of with uh, more as and as you listen more of the uh, the uh, the interactions and discussions the next question is from saurabh while studying we always have a fear that if we didn't went uh, as we thought we will not get good marks and this somehow harms the study how can we overcome that now saurabh this negativity uh we need to definitely remove and this is a very good topic that you have uh, brought into account saurabh so probably next saturday we will keep this topic for discussion how to remove the negativity that comes in uh once you are studying so one of the good ways is only focus on your target do not focus on what your friends are doing what your colleagues are doing how you are performing in your school the only objective should be a competition with yourself so improvement on a daily basis let's say uh, you were able to study for uh, uh, kind of 4 to 5 pages today but then you feel that the pace at which you were studying did not went well so what you can do is come back the next day and try to uh, stretch this to 5 to 6 pages and that that is how what i mean by saying create a competition with yourself not with others and that would help remove negativity uh, one of the very very important things that you need to take into account uh, then there is another question from navin that he is in 11th and how to overcome the fear uh, navin fear of boards probably if you are talking about then uh, the one of the important things this year is you have a reduced syllabus so don't have a lot of fear about it and practice well so if you are pre prepared with your exams with your syllabus definitely this fear would already be out 
unless and until you are keeping everything is stocked and piled for the last moment if you are keeping everything is stocked and piled for the last moment it would create a great difficulty towards your end so uh, that is one of the most important things that you need to focus whenever you feel that you have a fear of something and you need to overcome this fear we have taken a very interesting short story on how to overcome fear uh, so you can just check the exam race uh, motivational playlist or uh, the uh, the the success videos that we focus on and that would probably uh, create a little motivation more for you so those were some of the things that we have discussed today we would be meeting next tuesday again with a mcq session and saturday we would have again a topic on how to remove this negativity as saurabh has mentioned uh, then arthira has a question uh, 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 that she is currently uh, that he is sorry he is currently doing his masters in geography what are the next different career opportunities after doing masters which they can fetch for a job now there are two important things either do you want to go into a government sector or a private sector some of the important things that you need to consider is uh, how well you are practically so get a good hold on gis remote sensing uh, that is one of the things that you should focus right now also you need to focus on if you are uh, targeting towards government jobs then net jrf lectureship is one of the options that you have if you are targeting towards practical aspect you should have a good hand with gis remote sensing practically you should be very very sound and then you can uh, pursue your degree or diploma courses further with that also uh, you now have a gate course for uh, probably this year it would be introduced for 2022 for geospatial sciences and also net probably would be coming next year with uh, geospatial as one of the subjects so you can try that uh, shivam has another question uh, how to prepare for ba entrance for jnu uh, now shivam for ba languages if you are talking you just need to focus on uh, the the previous year paper and get a hold of the kind of questions which are asked in your previous year examinations uh, so this would probably help you in your preparation the questions are not very difficult so if you practice the previous 2 to 3 year questions and get an idea of the kind of questions which are asked probably that becomes easier for your ba for jnu uh, ba is there for languages and uh, for your masters definitely you need to prepare very well with your uh, bachelor syllabus and sometimes it's beyond your bachelor syllabus because in bachelors you have certain papers which are uh, taken as an optional papers so mahalakshmi has a question how to face board exams now board exams uh, definitely students who have not appeared for board for 10th and would be appearing for a 12th board probably next year have a difficult time also those for the last two years those who were not able to appear for 10th board and would be directly facing 12th as a board find it very very difficult very very panicking so the thing is you should keep in mind that you are appearing for your normal final year examination as you have been for the various other standards as you grew uh, the important thing you need to understand here is firstly focus on the syllabus carefully focus on case studies and conceptual questions nowadays and if you have time practice so take a reference and try to practice all the kind of mcq one line objective questions and this would help you um, get better acquainted with the syllabus the kind of questions which can come for your examination okay so those are uh, again green hill city hits have again the same question okay so that was about it uh, probably this is one of the topics that a lot of you are requesting for so probably coming saturdays we would cover this in another se session 
hope that was helpful we would meet another tuesday uh, next tuesday and saturday at 6 pm again and in the meanwhile we would be having our videos live every day 11:30 in the morning and 7:30 in the evening so wish you a very good luck for your preparation and get paced with this unlocking and get all your uh, uh, standard works completed here so that was for today see you again next tuesday till then stay safe stay healthy